Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sadness channel, my name is Shanks and today I'm going to play 3 vs 3 in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06 on the beautiful map Lebanon. My name is Gangnam Style, I'm picking random by the way, let's get it started. Oh oh, and we get to play the Mordor faction, let's go boys. Mordor in Battle for Middle Earth 1 3v3 is like Thanos with 6 infinity stones, trust me on that one, okay? And if our opponent doesn't have a Mordor faction included, this is gonna be quite tough for them, trust me, because Mordor is the best faction you can get to play in a 3v3 match. The best sportive faction there is. And I will explain you guys why. But first of all, we need to recruit Column and build two slaughterhouses. In this matchup, it's very important as Mordor that your economy is Gucci and great. And you will need the leadership you will get from the Mordor faction, like Eye of Sauron, Drama Troll and Witch King later on to make the allied units from your allies hit like an absolute truck. We need to save for the 200, build the Lamry Mill and we're also gonna get the mill from the ally at the top right side. Because once again, we will have no units on the field early on, we are not building Orc Pit in this one. It's very important to get to the point in which we can recruit the Drama Trolls as soon as we possibly can, because once again they are the best, by far. So let's get to this mill. And uh, we have Gondor and Rohan ally. I mean, Gondor is not the best, but also not the worst. Every faction can be great, but Mordor is the top tier uh, faction in 3v3 matches. And you will get the chance to see. What we can do now with the Golem is we can actually use him for scouting purposes. We can also get some Lumber Mill workers on the field, extra ones. And our ally is creeping the goblin layer. He needs to get some peasants on the field. And once those peasants are hitting the layer, we will be using the Eye of Sauron. Not because of the damage leadership, no, but because of the 100% combat experience leadership. This way, the peasants from our ally are gonna hit level 3. Otherwise, they would be only level 2, by the way. Also, the other ally is building a barracks, which is good. Because you don't need horses in a 3v3 match when you have, you know, Mordor as an ally. Okay, let's scout the area. Gollum is tanky. He should be fine. There's a couple of goblins. Can't hurt him. Let's use Eye of Sauron now. And you can see, he's gonna hit level 3. And I is a mobile leadership. Which means we can, you know, switch him from one side to the other side. But unfortunately... Oh, he was already creeping this one. Is he done yet? No, he's not done yet. Okay, guys, we need to make a deal. If I'm gonna able to steal at least one part of the money from the lair of our opponent... You have to like this video and subscribe for more con content like this in the future. Deal or no deal, guys? It's gonna be tough. He has a lot of units and Hobbit. But I'm pretty certain I will be able to steal some sort of money from the lair. Let's see. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, we almost stole the creep as well. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, we got one part of the money guys and you know the deal was you need to leave a like on this video and also subscribe because of that very reason. The troll layer is coming up now and in 3v3 matches Mordor only needs two trolls in order to get the troll cage to level 2 which is going to give us the chance to recruit the best leadership giving unit, the drummer troll, to support our allies with insane amount of damage. Armor and combat experience leadership. Now we have a couple of options. I mean, the only unit we have on the field besides the Lumber Mill workers is actually Gollum. And for that reason, we can actually either use him to kill the Lumber Mill workers, but I'm gonna go for a sneaky play. We are gonna place him. He's invisible, by the way. We are gonna place him on this spot. And hopefully, in this spot, our opponent is going to build a armory. And if you don't know, if you can snipe buildings when they're at zero person. So that means when, when your opponent or you are building a building on your spot, they don't build immediately. Most of them not, actually. Uh, they start with zero person, and Gollum can hit them one time. That means the building is gonna get destroyed, and our opponent is gonna lose a lot of money. So if you are lucky, he is going to build their the armory and once again golem is invisible we need to peel back so lourdes just doesn't want to kill golem i guess they are fine once again place him right here and we need to just i mean just you know we don't have anything else to do really so let's watch this shall we he's gonna create the goblin layer that's fine come on now come on now come on guys that's gonna be absolute fiesta trust me on that one <laughs> and by the way that's the reason why i don't play 3v3s because I believe the team with the Mordor faction in it 
has the upper hand, has a huge advantage. It's not unwinnable, but it's... Oh, there we go, nice! The war player has spent this 800 gold gone just like it did. Oh, that's, that's, I mean, awesome for me, but it's really unfortunate for the Isengard player at the bottom left side, guys. Come on now. Now we can also be a bit more annoying by killing his Lambert mill workers. <laughs> Oh, he's molding, guys. Trust me on that one. He's molding. So let's grab a tree and we can also creep the goblin layer. It would be nice if we can get to the point in which we can get a uh, tinted land from the spell book. Just in case, because they have also a Gonzo, you know, Gonzo faction. And if he ever is gonna use the land, because in re in, remember in BFM you want the land, regardless if it's tainted land or the elven wood, is going to deny all the leadership, which is a great counter to the insane amount of leadership we are going to give later on to our allies' units. Yeah, because, you know, once again, look, our money is looking great. We have over 4,000. Drama Troll is on his way. We will need more than one because we need, you know, at least one, if not two, for each side. On the left side for the Gondor and on the right side for the Rohan. And especially Rohan has also Theodin, which also gives you 50% damage and 50% armor. And, you know, in battle for middle of one, guys, leadership is able to stack. So I want you to imagine for a single second. Drama Troll gives you 50 damage, 50 armor, and 200% combat experience. I gives you 50 damage, 100% combat experience. Theodin gives you 50 damage, 50 armor, and Witch King does give you the same stats like Theodin, 50% damage, 50% armor. And this can all be added up to each, you know, with each other for an insane amount of damage armor and also combat experience leadership and trust me combat experience leadership shouldn't be underrated because the second the units are going to be able to kill something even if it's a lumber mill or a farm they are going to hit level 5 level 10 in a couple of seconds and there is also one thing wait a second but we need to kill lords first or legolas i would rather that you know we need to use a troll with uh, with no three in his hands let's use eye of sauron come on now come on now why are you running? <laughs> you can't outrun a troll. It's a beast from the east and slept. And there's 3000 gold gone just like that. And by the way, also trolls are smashing. And also trolls are gonna be insanely strong. The only weakness which we might get into later on is if the Isengard player from the opening team gets the freezing rain and nullifies all the leadership. But normally, because they have no Mordo, this game shouldn't last that long. Look at the Isengard at the bottom left side, guys. He has not even a Lumber Mill worker, and Lumber Mills without workers can't give you money at all. Like Gondor has also now some units. We have Drama Troll on the field. He has also Faramir. So that's what I wanted to say. If the heroes are nearby, when the combos are killing stuff, they're also gonna rank up like crazy. You know, imagine a situation like that. Aragorn is the, you know, Aragorn, Gandalf, and those kind of heroes are coming on the field with level 5. And if Aragorn is nearby and the combo is killing a couple of units, Aragorn is gonna hit level 10 in no time. Which means you are getting the. Ch oh. Okay. So we gotta be careful. Witch King is almost out. Witch King for more leadership. Trolls are charging in, so we should be fine. By If you are wondering what I'm doing, is by I'm pressing U on my keyboard and right clicking on the allied combo. This way, my unit, troll, drama troll, or whatsoever, is gonna automatically follow this unit from our ally. So it's great for lazy, lazy people like me. If you don't want to right-click all the time, you can make your unit follow the allied unit, pretty much 24/7. Okay, Witch King is almost out, and then we are ready to go. And please let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if you want to see more gameplay video of mine. Uh, you know, let me know if you want to see 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v3s. And nowadays, I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda tough to get some games in multiplayer scene for Battle for Middle Earth games because the activity right now during the summertime is always questionable. But uh, if you are interested in this kind of content, I will try my best to make it happen. So, Witch King, great. We are having Kinted Land now from the Spellbook for the worst case scenario. If the Gondo is gonna use the Elven Wood, we can easily cover that with our Kinted Land. And not only we will regain our leadership, but also we will get additional armor. And yeah, this combination, you have Boromir leadership as well. Later on when he's level 4, Faramir leadership when he's level 5, Gandalf is leadership, Aragorn is leadership, Tilden is leadership, and we are, you know, a faction, Mordor is a faction with full of leadership. So watch now what's gonna happen. 
Right now they have only the Drama Troll, but I'm gonna bring also my Witch King nearby. So alone from me, right now without the Eye of Sauron, he will have 100% damage, 100% armor and 200% combat experience. With Eye, he's gonna have 150% more damage and 300 person combat experience and i want you guys to understand how important this is those numbers please don't forget about them because I, that's gonna ex be an example now what's going to happen if those combos ever gonna hit you and even legolas is dealing almost no damage uh, we are once again following also the rohan look legolas's health he's gone with a couple of hits and watch now when i'm gonna use eye of sauron guys watch now boom you see level six immediately boys from level 2 level to level 6, 4 levels from killing 1 sentry tower. Elven Wood, let's use it. Tainted land, there we go. And now you, everything is gonna fall. Be careful with the Drama Troll, peel back. Don't lose him. He's very important to, to, be, to be kept alive. And also, you know, our allies combos, uh, our heroes, I mean, leveling up like level 6 already. Has also leadership now, 60% more damage. Like, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. Like I said, GG is gonna be gold. Uh, Mordor in 3v3 matches is like Thanos with 6 infinity stones in his gauntlet. Let's get one more Nazgul on the field, but it looks like they are this DCing. Deal boy, more like DC boy, I see. <laughs> yeah, more like DC boy, my man. By the way, DC is like you are rage quitting the game. You don't even leave normally, but you are aborting the game. And. Yeah, the troll is going down, but it's fine. You know, we have we are not the damage dealer faction in this one. We are carry sport. Look, level 10 combo. Oromia. Be careful. Drama troll, by the way, please don't attack. Let's don't attack with drama troll because there is one thing nobody knows, but it's the truth. If your drama troll attacks, you will not give leadership anymore. I don't know why this is a thing, but it's a thing. So don't attack with your Drama Troll. Drama Troll is like a walking statue. Just walk with him all the time. Oh! Boromir was almost killed like in the films from Lourdes, but not this time. The day in which Boromir goes down. But it is not this day. And one more guy is disconnecting, I believe. No, it's not. Look, the base is falling apart. Level 7. Level 10 combos. One of them is level 8. So, look, that's a level 3 furnace, one of the tankiest buildings in the game. It's going down like it's nothing. Now he's committing two. And also, Louis has been defeated. Uh, the drama trolls, why we have two of them. Uh, first reason is obvious, you know, just in case one of them goes down, we have a second one. But also, they are able to give leadership to each other. Now, it's not about the damage or the combat experience leadership, no. But it's about the, com uh, it's about the armor leadership that makes them each other tankier. And they are gonna be harder to be taken down. And also, uh, Luis, after being defeated, decides to be disconnected. And we have only uh, Karem, the last opponent. And he's the Gonda player, I believe. Maybe he's waiting for a Skandalf. That's the reason why he's not leaving the game. If an Asgul, we are untouched. We have a great eco. And once again, Mordor is gonna make your teammates shine bright like a diamond. I destroyed our ally. Also, our ally left because he doesn't. He knows the game is over. It's a matter of time. Drama troll has to be nearby, and so is the witch king. And also, our ally has now Faramir, you know, armor leadership bonus, Boromir damage leadership bonus, uh, leadership bon. I mean, battle for middle of one is all about leadership. The army with the stronger leadership wins, and even if you are getting outnumbered, the number advantage doesn't mean as much as the insane amount of damage and armor leadership you can get with that i mean literally that one combo can beat eight combos all alone with enough leadership that's why leadership is important that's why mordor is god tier faction in 3v3 matches because in 3v3 you are getting more money and that's why it's so easy for you to get a drama troll on the field to get the witch king on the field and to just be no man can kill me guy the Witch King of Mordor. Okay. Eagles are coming from our ally. We have so many flyers on the field. The trolls are charging in. Let's use I. Just why not? And everything. He's even bringing Theory now to make them shine bright like a diamond. Or brighter than a diamond in this case. Look them glowing, boys. Level 10 Faramir. Boromir is not even nearby yet. And GG. Well played. 
Uh, Mordor is just so strong. Let's be honest, our opponent didn't have a chance, but I just want to upload this video regardless, just so you can see how insanely strong Mordor can become in a 3 versus 3 match in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06. As we are victorious, guys, make sure to leave a like on this video. You can also check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash beyondstandards. That's the place where we, are, where we are gonna live stream all the time for more interaction. I would like to meet you guys also in there. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. i see you next time. Until then, take care, you know, keep hitting like a track. And also, stay beyond standards. Peace out.